Hello and welcome to Wembley, the home of English football. For years, this ground has played host to some of the biggest and best names in English football. The likes of Lineker, Shearer, Charlton and more. But today, we're not here to talk about them. Oh no. Today, we're going to talk about somebody that can really change a game. And for that, he doesn't need skills or to score hat-tricks. He doesn't even need a ball. All he needs is one of these. For over 150 years, football referees have been both the enforcers and gentlemen of the sport, presiding over the sublime... and at times ridiculous world of football. Over the last few years, football referees have been making the headlines for the wrong reasons. Less keeper of the peace, more pantomime villain. So the question we pose today is quite simple. I mean, being a football referee, just how hard is it? It's match day here at the Emirates, and not just any match, a London derby. Now, it's places like these where a referee's job becomes really interesting. These fortress-like structures are designed to intimidate. A cauldron of atmosphere just waiting to boil over. As a ref, your every move is being studied by thousands of passionate fans. And believe me, they're more than happy to critique your work. The bloke was inconsistent, he had no control, he didn't let the game flow, he pulled the ball back all the time. It's shocking. You say to me you've been coming in for 60 years? Was it well, it was easier years? when it started because you, you could kick one another and it wasn't even a foul. I, I think the only thing that's changed greatly is the, amount, is, the amount, is the amount of focus from referees through the media and also through, um, uh, I think, just the game generally. I think there's focus more on referees with the pressure involved. Now, what do you think of refereeing in general? I mean, is it a hard job, do you think, for them to do? Yes, yeah, no one wants to do it. But Someone's got it there, so they could do better in some situations. Ooh. I don't think it's a bit hard now for, for one man to, to do the game. Is to, quick. To do the game. Quick, yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? I think but he's, well, got, he's got two assistants. He's got assistants there. He's Fair got enough. two assistants. We referee ourselves. Okay? Oh, right, okay. Much lower level, to be fair. Yeah. But the fact is, we haven't got two assistants. What was the uh, referee like today in a nutshell? Pretty poor, actually. He didn't have big decisions to make, but the few that he did have to make were you know, stop the flow of the game and they, they weren't great. I think it's almost impossible for one man to, to control yeah. a game like it used to be. I think so and uh, I'd be in favour of bringing in some form of video evidence to support refereeing decisions as well. They make a lot of decisions but do they need the technology? Is it too difficult now for them to see what's going they on? they need the technology. They've got a full official sitting there. All he does is twiddle his thumbs all day long. Give him some, give him some help. Would you be up for getting in there and being a referee or do you think I know, no oh, no, just the sheer abuse would be uh, too <laughs> no, much. It's, it's, very hard. Hard. it's a tough job, yeah. you know, a very, very tough job. Boot on the other foot, would you want to be a referee for a day, jump in the centre of the Emirates there? Uh, no. <laughs> um, as I say, you know, I recognise the job they do. The first thing we've been asking is, would you want to be a ref? Now, obviously, you two are yeah. refs. Guess what they all say? No. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, right. <clears throat> so, a little bit later on in this film, yep. and, the, and this is the first time I mentioned this, I think I'm going to try and learn how to be a referee. Like, I've had enough of watching it, right? Okay. Now, I like that right smile, first of all. Yeah. Now, what do you think, apart from the, or the obvious, stating the obvious, I'm going to really need to learn? What do I need to get a grasp on? If I want to be a referee, and obviously not somewhere like this. I think you've got to understand the game. Okay. The key thing is to understand it. And also, I think you've got to understand um, the ins and outs and, and the intricacies of the game as well. That's the important thing. You got to also, you've got to understand the teams and the players you are actually refereeing. But the other thing is you've got to be confident. As a person, you've got to be confident. You've got to be confident in making decisions. You've got to be confident in understanding decisions as well. I've refereed football matches right, okay. at a very low level. Okay. And I, my, I have a too fiery a temperament and I probably finish up punching one of the players. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what the fans think. But what I want to get answered is, how do you become a football referee? And does someone like me really have what it takes to take charge of a game? Now, clearly, I've got a long way to go, but if I meet the right people and with a lot of hard work, could someone like me really be a football referee? One thing's for sure, my training doesn't start somewhere like this. I need to get back 
to the grassroots.